Well, the longtime leader of Muncie-based First Merchants Corporation is hanging up his banking cap at the end of the year. Under Mike Reckon's watch, First Merchants has grown from $3 billion in assets to $13 billion with uh, some very substantial income growth as well. Forbes has recognized and ranked the bank as one of the five best in the country each of the past three years. Pleased now to be joined by retiring First Merchants President and CEO Mike Reckon. And Mike, uh, great to see you. Congratulations on the, on the retirement. Thank you, Gary. Uh, really uh, looking forward to our next chapter as a family and looking forward to continuing to help First Merchants from a different seat and really confident in the team we have in place. Well, you've had quite a ride uh, at First Merchants, and certainly you're one of the most recognizable names in the Indiana banking uh, community. It was at uh, National City prior to that for about a decade. Uh, but Mike, as you look at the growth, I mentioned that, $3 billion to $13 billion in assets. What has really fueled the growth uh, equation, if you will, uh, at First Merchants? Well, I, I think the... Uh... It's a unique environment in the state of Indiana and maybe throughout the Midwest, but clearly Indiana has been blessed with great leadership at the top and it's fostered a great economic environment and banking is a great conduit for getting capital to commercial enterprises. And so between that at the high level and the people that have seen fit to join our company and bring their talent and the commercial companies willing to listen, it's just been a great chemistry and a lot of fun. And you've, in a consolidating industry, you've uh, been strategic, maybe uh, aggressive to an extent, and going out and, and making some some acquisitions too. Yeah, we really have. The uh, one of the challenges for the business that then becomes an opportunity is developing and investing channels that give customers a chance to touch you. Whether you're a consumer customer, commercial, uh, you, have, you need to adapt your business model away from pure banking centers to online banking, mobile banking, the whole bit. And so that is seeing other banking companies look for places where they might go and merge their strength with yours, and we've benefited. Yeah, technology certainly has changed the, the industry dramatically. What, in your view, as you look back on when you got into the industry and, and the things, the di dynamics driving the industry now, what are some of the biggest changes you've seen in the, the banking industry in Indiana? I think it's just been our clients open to change and then demanding change as to how they access your company. And so we've had to adapt our skill sets, kind of go to a seven day a week, 24 hour a day accessibility for our clients and uh, keep up with the technology changes difficult. And I think that's why you've seen some consolidation in the industry. Yeah, only 30 seconds left, Mike, but what's next for you and your wife, Debbie? Hopefully you're gonna stay in Indiana. Absolutely. We, uh, you know, came here from Ohio 25 years ago, have been welcomed by my teammates at the bank and every community throughout central Indiana. So, yes, Hamilton County continue to be our home and look forward to catching up with all of my friends, including you, Gary, over the next several years. I look forward to it as well, Mike. Uh, thanks so much for joining us here. Thanks for all you do and look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you. Thanks, Gary. Right. Have a great day.